In August 2018, Arua municipality was a beehive of political activity because of a by-election that was called after the assassination of the area MP Ibrahim Abiriga. Cassiano Wadri, contested as an independent candidate, backed up by pressure group led by Kiadondo East MP Robert Kiagoranyi, commonly known as Bobby Wine. At the climax of the campaign, Bobby Wine's driver was shot dead after chaos engulfed the town on allegation that opposition supporters threw stones at the president's car. Robert Kiagoranyi, Francis Zake, Cassiano Wadri, Paul Muiru, Gerard Karuhanga, among others, were brutally arrested and tortured and later charged of treason. Today, the group turned up and joined Wadri for a Thanksgiving celebration in Arua municipality. <laughs> Uh, the reason as why we come here is to thank God for our lives and what we've passed through as, uh, first of all, as Alua people, and then us, the leaders, they were with, especially uh, His Excellency Bobby Wine. We've come to thank them for their vote. They cast even when some of us were in hospitals, and their leader they elected here, who was in, in, you know, who was in, in the cells. That's why I take exception to some of those who think that if another, a new player like uh, Honorable Chagrani comes on board, is a computer and therefore an enemy. I don't belong that school of thought. I look at him as a complimentary in this struggle. That's why, if for us, I compliment every effort which is geared towards weakening the regime and for us take part. The politicians present included the former FDC president, Major General Mugisha Monto, who joined different politicians, most affiliated to the People Power Group, in prayers. <laughs>